Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another mukbang video. You guys seem to be absolutely loving these series that we've started. So today yes we are doing another mukbang. So far we have done a pizza mukbang, that was the last episode. We did fish and chips before that and in the first episode we did Chinese food. And tonight we are going Dutch. Uh, we are having pancakes for tea tonight over here under this um, little thing. I have freshly made some pancakes over here. So these are made by me. I haven't bought those. Um, they are made by me. Um, they're just plain pancakes. And we have some lemon right here, some Jif lemon and some silver spoon sugar, which I'm going to be putting on them. I am British, so I like lemon and sugar. But I am also half Dutch, so I like pancakes. Now in Holland they do put um, different things on pancakes. Um, they put bacon and cheese or um, a number of different things. My personal favourite is apple. I do like apple pancakes. Um, but as I am half British, I want to go for just plain pancakes and also for simplicity uh, reasons. Um, but let's get one of these bad boys out of here and uh, start preparing them. The tin foil is just to keep them warm because um, I don't like cold pancakes. So we'll pop that on there and that is quite hot. Um, we'll just pop that back on there to keep them warm. And uh, let's pop some lemon and sugar on here. Now, tonight we do have another discussion topic as well. Um, it is not as controversial as some of the topics we've covered so far, but it is quite an interesting one. It is one that's quite close to my heart that I wanted to cover. And this one was actually suggested by my sister. And it is country music versus pop music. Now, um, I'm sure there are a number of you who like pop music. It is quite popular, um, especially in Britain. But for any of you American viewers, you may prefer country music. You might like both. I like both. Um, but I want to have a little discussion today why I like country music and also why I like pop music because I do like pop music as well. Ignore that little bit in the middle there. That is not burn. It is well done. Let's, let's um, put this thing up and have a, have a test. Mmm. That is very, very good, if I do say so myself. We'll wait till we get to this well done bit. Um, I do like the pancakes quite well done. Maybe not quite as well done as that. Um, but I do like them well done. They do taste nicer. But firstly, I want to start with how I actually got into country music. Because um, when I was a child, I, I didn't enjoy country, you know. Not that I didn't enjoy it, but I, I hadn't been introduced to country. I didn't know what it was. So, when I was very young, um, the first electronic gadget that I ever owned in my life, before I owned a phone, before I owned a console, before I owned anything like that, the first piece of electronic equipment that my parents bought me for Christmas was an MP3 player, a CD player basically. And with that, I used to buy all of the, now that's what I call music albums, I used to buy the, the new album every time it came out. And um, from that day on, I was hooked on music. And um, of course, most of those, now that's what I call music albums, were modern pop. Now, when I say modern pop, we're not talking about pop nowadays. This was back in... 2005-2006 when I was a young lad if you can believe it um, and I used to sit in my bedroom listening to all those albums I memorised all the words to those songs and I absolutely loved pop music back then but it was a lot better than what pop music has become now um, this might be a little bit controversial, but I am really not a fan of modern pop music. I find it really, really boring and a little bit distasteful, to be honest. 
Um, so if that offends you, then you know where the door is. But anyway, um, to continue my blabbering, um, after that, um, I kind of got hooked on the era of 80s um, music. I, I started listening to a few 80s music albums. Um, I got hooked on that. Um, I liked it. It was kind of similar to the pop that I was listening to then, but it had a little bit more hip hop. You could dance to it. And yes, I had many evenings where I was dancing in my bedroom to 80s pop music. And then I went to secondary school. And we'll continue that story in just a second. But firstly, we need another pancake over here. You can I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but they are just gently steaming, which is nice. So, we'll pop another one of those down there. We'll get some more lemon and sugar on it. We'll just keep that on the top to uh, keep them heated. Getting this Jif Lemon opens a bit of a pain. I actually do like a little bit of Jif Lemon. Mm. A bit of Jif Lemon on your finger is absolutely lovely. And then just a little bit of sugar. Just sprinkle a bit of that on the top. There we go. Absolutely. And for those of you wondering, the doll that just opened there, that, that was just one of my flatmates just entering the kitchen. So thank you to Wellington if he's watching for being quiet. It's appreciated. But we'll just roll this bad boy up and there we go. A little delicious pancake. Just wipe my fingers off there. But yeah, let's continue the story. So I went to secondary school. Uh, that in itself was another story for another day. But um, my cousin at the time who is uh, five years older than me, he had just left secondary school. And he was very much into pop music um, at that time. And he started listening to country music. And I'm not really sure what type of country music it was. Um, he still listens to it at the moment. I believe it was primarily uh, American country music at that time. Um, but at the moment, he listens to a little bit of Irish country music and I believe also some English country music. And for those of you American viewers, we do have country music in England. It's not as common as pop music, but we do have some. Um, but he started listening to that. Um, I didn't really think anything of it until about a year later, I decided, you know what, I've never listened to country music. It sounds quite interesting. I'm a country lad. Let's give it a try. So I went on Spotify. I listened to a few songs and I memorized the words to those songs. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. Um, if we bring it back to the whole I liking 80s um, pop music, I also started watching some 80s TV series as well. So I started watching Knight Rider and The A-Team, Magnum P.I., all these 80s TV series, and I really got hooked on them. Absolutely loved them. I already loved 80s pop music. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to try listening to some 80s American country music. And that is when I discovered Mr. Alan Jackson. Now, if you don't know who Alan Jackson is, He's a very famous country singer in America. And his music was absolutely fantastic. I really loved it. And one of the other reasons why I liked it was because I watched The Dukes of Hazard. And The Dukes of Hazard, for those of you who don't know, is an American TV series in the 1980s. I believe it aired from 1975 to about 1983, something like that. And it's a fantastic show. It's actually my favorite TV show. And it's basically about two cousins who sort of go around the countryside in America helping out people in need. 
and it's, it's basically about country living and it was something that I absolutely loved and obviously being set in America it had quite a lot of American country music in and that is when I really started getting hooked on it I really enjoyed the show and then I loved the music that went into it I'd already listened to a few country songs and absolutely loved those so I started doing some research into some other country singers and from that day on I just set off like a train it snowballed into something much bigger and now I absolutely love country music but before we continue we need another pancake I made four pancakes I was going to make more I could definitely eat more but I felt for the purpose of the video length um, four was going to be enough so we've only got four don't worry, nobody else uses this just lemon, so me opening the lid does not matter. Plenty of just lemon on there. You know what? Ooh! Yeah, it's quite sour. Believe it or not, lemon is quite sour. <laughs> um, we need to pop that back on there so that doesn't get cold. I've only got one pancake left to go anyway. Um, so yeah, I started listening to country music. Absolutely loved it. I got hooked. The first country singer I ever listened to was, uh, well, American country singer um, was Alan Jackson. And uh, Alan Jackson, if you're watching, your music is absolutely fantastic. I don't know why you'd be watching a British gaming YouTube channel, but... If you are, you know. But um, after that, I started listening to some other country singers like Toby Keith. Um, he is another big American country singer. And also Brooks and Dunn. Um, I do quite like them. They're, they're fantastic. And I could go through the whole list of country singers that I listen to. But... It's probably what I listen to on a daily basis right now. It is it's what I mainly listen to. But I just want to bring it back to the whole 80s thing. Um, because I actually do like pop music. And I mentioned at the start that I don't like uh, new pop music. But I absolutely love 80s pop music. I started listening to some Belinda Carlisle. And uh, for those of you who don't know Belinda Carlisle, listen to her some of, some of her songs and you'll probably recognise them. Um, but she's quite a well-known 80s singer. Um, I like her songs. I also like um, Mr. Billy Ocean. He's a fantastic 80s singer. Um, also Michael Jackson. For those of you who are Michael Jackson fans, he's also very good. But then, on a sideline, I also listen to a little bit of 60s rock and roll music, believe it or not. Um, I do like the era of um, 60s. There was a lot of awesome cars built in the 60s, especially some of the American cars. And for those of you who have been on the channel for a while or know me, you will know that I absolutely love classic American cars. And I also like the whole era that goes with that. If you want to know more about that, then I'd suggest you watch the movie American Graffiti. Um, I'm not actually sure when American Graffiti was set, but the whole sort of era surrounding American Graffiti, that is what I love about America. It's sort of classic, 50s and 60s America. And also the music that went with it. So I listen to quite a lot of Elvis Presley. And you could argue that he is somewhat of a country singer as well. Um, he did a few country songs. But yeah, I love Elvis. Some of his songs are absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of my favourite songs. And... Um, 
I started listening to sort of 60s rock and roll when I left secondary school and I absolutely loved it. Um, I, I own a classic mini so it was really nice to just listen to some um, old songs, sort of 80s music, 80s pop and then listen to a little bit of 60s rock and roll mixed in with that and it just makes the experience even more awesome you know you're driving a classic car but listening to classic tunes at the same time just makes it even more incredible so that's sort of how I got hooked on to that and um, how I got hooked on to American country music and um, I wanted to kind of cover it because it's something that's very close to my heart I absolutely love country music and for those of you who've maybe never listened to country music in your life, I'd suggest that you listen to maybe one or two country songs, see if you like it, and who knows, like me, you might just listen to one or two and be hooked. That's all it took for me. And um, the country singers I've suggested, Alan Jackson and also Mr. Toby Keith, they're the two singers I began listening to, and they're absolutely fantastic. If you want somewhere to start, I'd start with those two. And they still make albums now to this day. So, yeah. I wanted to cover that, and I wanted to say, you know, I love pop music as well. Mainly 80s pop music. Um, really not a fan of new pop music. I'm sorry if that offends you. Um, and I love 60s rock and roll so I love rock and roll, I love country I love pop, I do love blues and jazz as well so I'd say I'm a very cultured man that way um, maybe not so cultured in other ways um, I'm trying to be cultured with the food that I eat um, especially for you all at home watching or if you're watching at work, or if you're watching in class. But um, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this video. I'm going to finish this pancake for you, um, because that is also part of the video. But let me know down in the description if you're a fan of country music, or if you are a fan of any other type of music, maybe that I've not mentioned. I know quite a few people who uh, like K-pop, which is Korean pop, for those of you who don't know. Um, I have tried listening to that. I'm not really a fan, but I appreciate you that, well, I appreciate that people that are, you know? If you like that, that is your opinion. Um, but let me know what kind of music you like, and let me know as well if you're enjoying this mukbang series, they are some of the most viewed videos on my channel, so I figured that most of you seem to be enjoying them. We have made three episodes, four including this one. So I'd like to continue the series. I do enjoy chatting like this. I'd maybe like to get a guest on. Um, we are obviously very close to Christmas. So maybe I'll do a Christmas special where we have Christmas lunch and maybe get my whole family involved. So if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section, subscribe and like the video as well. But that is gonna do it. Just as I finish my pancake. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then you know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next one.